How's it going, everyone? Back with another exciting EverQuest adventure. Oh, snap, it's Monday, guys. It's Monday, and I did it again. I've just been busy, super busy, but that's okay. We are back in Plane of Mischief, and I am going to show you guys how to do A4. Word of warning, I am no master at this. Um, when you do this on a druid, except accept your fate that you're already dead that you're gonna die <laughs> because sometimes rng is really bad and when rng is really bad you're just gonna die so when you do this j j just accept it accept it guys get it over with okay i'm gonna eventually die great thing about up here is people are super nice up here the community is awesome and it's pretty easy to get a res up here so uh what else i think we're gonna go ahead and get started and i'm gonna show you guys how i do it there could be different ways of doing it. Some items that that might greatly help that I I don't have yet are the robe of the spring. Good luck. That is on my wish list far into the future. It's an awesome item that will help you heal your your pet while while fighting. Um, a step down from that, and I and I don't have. I should get one. Is uh, Elder Spiritus leggings, which is kind of like the robe of the spring. It'll help you heal your pet in combat, and you will see why why um, why shortly. Uh, another item is a fungi tunic, which I do have. Woo woo! I finally got my first freaking fungi tunic, but it is on my monk that I'm probably not gonna probably not gonna play that much. <laughs> He's level 28 now, and I just was like, I don't know. I I like my freaking buttons and all my spells and stuff it's more fun anyways let's go and get started like always uh i'm at peachy first thing that we we need to do is we need to bind down an a4 uh so if you don't know how to get the a4 um for time constraints on this video uh, i don't want to show how to get there so if you don't know how to get there go back and watch my previous video on how to get the a4 so that'll be my first step i'm going to pause it here and then run down and pick it up when i'm down at the bind point in a4 so be back in just a sec okay here we go we are right at the entrance to a4 that that comes into the first room and bummer Grink is, it looks like it's taken, but that's okay. Uh, I just want to show you where you bind at, and I'll make this a two-parter. I'll just splice it together with my super freaking awesome editing skills. Okay, so I go ahead and bind right here, right at the first room. So let's go ahead and bind here. And then from here, I need to get back up to Peachy, so... Um, we are just going to, there's a whole group here. Get them guys, get them. Fun size. Huh. What is that guy's skill's name? Please vacate my camp. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, so now we will go back up to Peachy and we're going to pick up the skunk. And, um, if you watched my, um, my video, on rat maze for the druid it's gonna be the same principle we're, we're we're gonna go up and grab the skunk we are going to sow that mama jamba and then gate back down and he's gonna rip down to a4 uh, it takes him a little longer but that is okay um, maybe I should have paused it because again I want to keep this video at a decent um, at a decent time um, if I've gone too fast again Go back and look at my uh, Alice in Wonderland video that that will do a tour of this place and show you how to get in, get out, and freaking uh, all that crazy stuff. Bam, bam, there we go. So let's go back up. Let's get the skunk. I think that the skunk, like, you might be asking, why don't you use the same rat? that you do for the rat maze because I think that the skunk has more hit points and more AC. I could be completely wrong, but like it really does seem like that. But he breaks charm more. But anyways, here is uh, guard McStinkles here. So 
the first thing that we need to do is get a harmony up and that is one awesome thing about doing a four on a druid is that we, we can split the halflings extremely easy with harmony with harmony so we'll wait for harmony to pop up we will harmony both of them like this bam and then we are going to gr grasping root oh. The, the guard McStinkles, we will give him a glamour of Tunair. And, oh, I can't Spirit of Wolf him yet, because i got to charm him first. So, and then we will get him charmed up. And um, this is my spell lineup that I am using. I'm using Grasping Roots, the small root um, uh, for rooting mobs and everything else. It, and you'll see why because root down in a4 breaks a lot so like i don't want to waste a bunch of mana freaking tossing out fat roots okay now we're going to get gate up because that root will, will be breaking in about three seconds and my guard makes stinkles is um he is sad so i'm going to go ahead and gate down back to a4 now, 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 this point, get um, get your uh, egress up lot, like as soon as possible because if Charm breaks on the way down, he'll run all the way down here and pull everything in the whole zone. Like a bunch of mobs <laughs> are going to come for you. Don't ask me how I know. And then he will get here. And, and then from here, I'm going to pause it because it looks like... Um, A4 is taken right now. Which is so sad. But that's okay. I... I anticipated this, so, so I'm going to be hunting here um, to get us a few mobs. And when I do, I will unpause it. the 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 bummer part is is I'm going to have to go back up and get my freaking skunk again. But anyways, from here now we have guard McSnickles down here. Uh, now what we are going to do is guard him, uh, and then. We are going to come back here. I wish I had my Goblin G G Kazugi Ring. It would be totally awesome. And we're going to freaking hide, which is going to break. And we're going to Grasping Roots. And it is very, very important that that you have Ensnare on Garmic Stinkles at all times um, for when we we have to reset him. So always keep him snared. Get, get some sort of timers up like... Um, like Gina or uh, I use N parse and whatnot. Okay, perfect. So now we have guard mace sinkles. He is snared. He is charmed, and I'm gonna guard him right here. And let's go see what we can find up. But again, that group um, it was down here. I doubt like anything's up. I mean, I just ran through here, but I <laughs> I don't even remember. That was too long ago. It was like 30 seconds ago. So. That's what we 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 have to do. So essentially, come down here, bind. You go back up. You grab guard, make stinkles, break charm, root, uh, tash again, and then snare. And then that's when we get started. So I'm gonna go ahead, pause the video here, and we will try to get one one of these mobs. And that's kind of how it works down here. Like um, I usually. If everything's up, I'll try to get them all locked down. Uh, if not, then I'll just get one locked down. And then if one happens to open back up, then I'll go and I'll tag that one. So then I'll have two locked down. And you want to keep timers on your kills. The spawn timer up here is 72 minutes. So keep some sort of timers going so that you will know when your, um, your, your mobs are going to pop. And... Uh, if things are up, I don't l like to kill one and go right over to the second one. I like to give it time. So I will kill one and then go sit in front of my, my next target and camp that one for at least 10 minutes. So I'll have a good gap in between each spawn. Because th sometimes things go wrong. You you get a bunch of breaks and you have mad time. Even like a 15-minute gap in between each um, uh, each mob is is decent. So then you're not like in a rush and you're not in a hurry and whatnot. 
but right now we don't have any mobs up so I can't show that but that's okay I'm gonna go ahead and pause it right now until we get some mobs and then I will show you how it's done I'm gonna guarantee you we're gonna get some breaks and I'll show you how to deal with breaks and summons and stuff and it and sometimes it's difficult guys I'm not a master at this like I said all right coolio I'm gonna go ahead and pause it all right look at I got some A4, woo! Okay guys, here we go. In A4, it's been like weeks since I've recorded the first part of this video. <laughs> and I finally got, um, finally got two mobs locked down A4. So here we go. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get started. And you gotta be kinda quick because people will totally come and try to take your stuff. But anyways, um, uh, um, uh, I have Guard McStinkles. He is snared at the moment. So we're going to go ahead and get a root up on him. Get a snare on him. Glamour of Tunair. And whoops. Get him charmed. Sorry, Gatsby, I can't answer your, vi your I can't answer your question. I have to concentrate on this cuz th this gets insane. So give him um, a thorns, and I don't remember if I savage spirit him. Did I savage spirit him? I don't know. I'll just do it again. I don't think I did. And here we go. Um, after we got the shield of blades, we're going to go ahead and get the fixation of row up. Please don't pull my thing. Please don't pull my freaking rat. Thank you. Uh, start off with a Wrath of Nature because you want to keep these guys snared at all times. Go ahead and send in the pet. Get them rooted. Get Drones of Dune up and then get a Wing Death up on him. And then a Fixation of Row. And let's hope for uh, or Fixation Row first. <clears throat> Stop that! How dare you do that? He resisted my fixation a row, which that's okay. And your pet should. I shouldn't be getting summoned that much. But I think that the fixation row really pisses him off. There we go. Okay, now now what we want to do is hope for no breaks. Uh Th this can either go really smooth where you get zero breaks and like it's easy as easy as, uh, it's as easy as this or you could get freaking a bunch of breaks and then die <laughs> uh, if we do get a break uh, I will show you the tactic that um, I use holy moly hopefully that, that wasn't too loud and your 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 pet is gonna need heals a few heals there here and there and always keep your dots rolling no breaks no breaks because still guys even on breaks like i panic and fail and then i die but sometimes i can get breaks and it just goes super smooth um let's go ahead and keep wing death rocking and roots i mean it's good to always have them rooted so how are we doing here? Uh, he is at 39, 33. So we are doing pretty good here. We are doing good, guys. Finally, finally getting A4 down. Hopefully we don't. There's nothing bad happens and I die a horrible death because I really want to show you guys a couple kills. I have two mobs that are locked down right now. Um, it was pretty sloppy on my first kill and I forgot to do a bunch of stuff like haste my pet and I almost died. <laughs> But that is okay. We are rocking. We are doing good. 17%. I better get some freaking heals. Um, and it sure would be nice to have a robe of the spring or something like that. There we go. Grink is going down. He should start running. There he goes. He is running. Boom. First one is down. Um, remember to set your timers if you're going to be doing this. One more percent. And right now, it, if Charm, if it was to break, I don't think it would be too big of a deal because Grink is um, 
he is running. So let's go see if we get lucky on this one. Guys, the cards are extremely rare. Look, I got some tasty candy. Yay. They are uh, extremely rare. Let's go ahead and start our timer. There we go. Uh, I have 20 minutes on um, on the next pop. But uh, now after this, since we got him down, our pet is um, he's pretty beat up. So we're going to hide. Maybe. If high work. I still don't have my Goblin Kazooie ring on this guy. But, but, but that is okay. But that's how you do it though. If... If RNG is good to you guys, that's really that easy. If RNG is bad to you, then it's not that easy. So, um, re re remember like I said in the first part of the video, always keep Snare up at all times. And then go ahead and camp aggro. So, so our guard McStinkles, he will regen up the full health. Um, how much time did I say I had? Okay, we have 20 minutes um, until the next one pops. And that's like perfect. That'll give you time to met up and give you plenty of time to take a break, do all kinds of crazy stuff like that. So, Gasby, I just read your um, your tell, and I'm hoping to get a break on the next one, and I'll show you how it's done. And again, on the break, sometimes it goes really good, sometimes it goes really bad. And if I don't get a break, then I'll just explain to you how to do it. Because it's really, it's not that hard. And I think everybody has their own own way um, of doing it. But okay, so as you see, we got Garmin Stinkles. I re-snared before I logged. And when he is snared, he will be locked in place here and he will not run away which is good so there you go um use fixation of row um i've seen a lot of druids doing that so i started doing it too and uh it does work really well i think it it gives a stat de decrease but yeah guys that's kind of how it is right now so um what i'm going to do is go ahead and pause it and we will wait for the gorilla. Uh, I only have two mobs locked down. I don't have um, the the halflings locked down. So uh, halflings are taken right now. But essentially, it's the exact same things. The only thing you got to do on halflings is harmony them and pull. But yeah, so let's go ahead. I'm going to pause it now. And we're going to uh, wait for the gorilla to pop. And then we will knock down that gorilla too but cool i am super excited that i was finally able to, <laughs> i was finally able to get him open oh because it has been quite a long time okay i'm gonna pause it okay here we go glonk he just popped so first thing we're gonna do is get a graspy roots off on garbage stinkles get him re-snared because again we always want him snared call a karana and glonk you be good and Garmin Stinkles, you'd be good too. No breaks. Uh, Savage Spirit. Get a Shield of Blades on him. Drop this off. Get uh, Fixation a Row. You know, and after you get the, the Row debuff on him, it's probably good to put up an Egress just in case. And then we're going to go ahead and attack, and we're going to start with a Wrath of Nature, because you always, always, always want to keep the mob you are fighting snared. Get him, Garmic Stinkles. All right. Let's go ahead, start getting some, some Drones of Dunes up, and then get a Winged Death on them, and then get a Fixation of Row. Get him, Garmin Stinkles, and don't freaking break on me. Get a fixation or um, a tash on him as well. And here we go, guys. Here we go. Let's pray and hope. Let's pray to Tom Cruise that we get no breaks. But I guess it would be good if we get a break so I can show you guys how uh, how I handle it. And again, sometimes it's good and sometimes it's really bad. <laughs> Which is not 
too, too bad, especially if Root uh, sticks on Glonk. And uh, if I don't get a break, then I'm going to explain to you guys uh, how I do it. And I, I suggest if you guys want to practice, then... Um, then go to A3 because A3 is up quite a bit and it's really easy to get a res up here. So go get a couple freaking corpses piled up. Let's get a winged death up on Glonk. Man, he's freaking beating the crap out of Garmic Sneakles. <coughs> Drones of Doom. And I'll go ahead and toss a couple of heals on Garmic Sneakles. See, that's why a R Robe of the Spring. And, or um, the Elder Spirit's leggings. I think it's the leggings. Oh. Okay, so there we go. I just got that. Let's go ahead. Whoops. I'm going to get summoned again. So now what we do is we back up to about right here. And get a Call of Karana off. And then we have Garbage Stinkles back on Glonk. And then we're going to go ahead and get a root up. And now is when we don't want freaking a bunch more breaks. <clears throat> you be good to me. Let's go ahead and toss the heal up. So that's how I deal with... Uh, with breaks and you you are going to get summoned a few times uh oh no actually i don't want to do that he is running now perfect so there you go that's how you deal with the break essentially uh, as soon as pet breaks you get summoned and then you like run to one into the room and they're 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 going to chase you and then as soon as you get summoned again you run to the other end of the room and then get off a charm simple as that so that w was a decent pet break. And after you um, after you get your your pet re-charmed, you're going to get summoned a couple times because he's got to generate aggro and stuff and get the aggro back. Boom! There we go! With a break! Perfect. Come on, give me... Whoa! What do we got? Oh, it's a squire. Hey, we got something, though. That's cool. <laughs> I already have one. Oh, I was hoping it would have been a throne or something cool. But there you go, guys. That is how it's done. And that's how you deal with a break. Now, um, on my first run over, I was going to try to recharm. I hope that's not too loud with the thunder and stuff. Well, let me make sure it's turned down. So, when charm first broke... I was just going to run in the corner and uh, try to recharm again, but I pressed the wrong button, as you can tell. I pressed freaking Savage Spirit instead, which then cleared my target. So then, so then I had to wait to be resummoned, run to the other side of the room, and and get off a charm. Uh, just so you know, on summon, it is um, it's a 10-second cast. Or not cast, but... It, so every 10 seconds, you're going to get recharmed. So as long as you can get enough distance be, between you, your pet, and um, the mob you're killing, you can easily get off a recharm. Easily get off a recharm. But anyways, let me make freaking turn this crap down. It's loud. Yeah, anyways, that's how it's done. Um, I'm at... At the end of this video, I'm going to go ahead and put on when I did get a, re a Red Thrones drop. And that Red Thrones, I sold it for 30k. So guys, it it's it's very rare. It's not like you're, you're, you're going to come here and you're going to get cards, just cards galore. It's not like that. There are some people I've heard spent like weeks up here <laughs> and they don't get anything. So yeah. Uh, so right now, I'm actually going to leave the camp. So Garbing Stinkles, I'm not going to re-snare him or do anything like that. But I am very, very excited to finally get this video done that I've been trying to do for quite a long time. I'm glad I found it open. Um, guys, I hope that this was informative, and I'm really glad I got a charm break. So again, ju ju just to rehash on the charm breaks, um, that's why it's so important to keep everything snared. 
and when you get a charm break, all you have to do is, is just run to the corner and get a and get a charm off. But as you can see, what I did, I screwed up and I tried to do Savage Spirit, so that wasn't so that sucks. So then I had to wait to get summoned again and then run to the other side of the room and recharm. But you should have plenty of time, plenty, plenty of time to get a little distance and then uh, recharm. What's the cast time on Call of Karana? So uh, it's five seconds. So you should have enough time to get away and get your freaking recharm off. And uh, it's going to take practice. I I think the most important thing is don't panic on charm breaks, which you're 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 going to in the beginning, and then after they've happened a bunch of times, it's not too too big of a deal. Uh, where you get in trouble is if RNG craps on you, and uh, like I've gotten three charm breaks in a row, and then I died. So I mean. I would say if you get back-to-back -back charm breaks, then uh, I would just try to egress, which I didn't even have it up, so I wouldn't have. Uh, I would have died anyways. But uh, anyways, guys, I think that is going to do it at the end of this video. Like I said, I'm gonna slap on where I got the the red throne drop. So anyone. Uh, that's it for me, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you liked the video, hit, uh, hit the like button and thumbs up and su su subscribe to the channel and all that jazz. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. That's going to do it for me. Hope you're having a good week. Hope you're having a good day. Hope you're having a good month so far in this New Year's month. That is it for me. Peace. Okay, and I'm back. Oh, so I had to camp aggro from my skunk. And I got so excited that uh, I didn't hit the record button, guys. So I missed myself uh, the the looting of it. But check it out, my first Red Throne solo. According to the wiki, this Mama Jama's worth twenty-five to thirty thousand plat. How you like that? How you like that? This is the highest uh, plat item that. I have ever gotten. I'm super excited. I wish I would have hit the record button. It was off the big gorilla, Glonk or whatever his name was. Um, here's my pet. He he is snared and regenning. He's back to full now. Sweet, sweet. Look at that. Woo, woo. How you guys like that? How do you like that? So uh, I haven't even made the actual video for how to do this because I've died, I don't know, gosh, about 10 times and I'm on breaks because of the summons but i'm getting it down and yeah i just i had to record this because i'm super excited there there's 25 to thirty thousand plat it's crazy it's craziness it's uh, again like i said in other videos i love planes of mischief but um this video is going to be in several parts i just wanted to show this part right here guys Red throne. I need a blue throne. Bl blue thrones are worth like 50 to 60. But I am super, super happy to get this. But anyways, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it right here, and uh, just for now. All right, red throne. Woo!